Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. So today's video is all about creating a Windows RE using Windows AIK. Now, RE stands for for Recovery Environment Wim Image, which I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Now, I'm going to be using this little document right here. These are my notes. I love taking notes because I sometimes forget what I need to do. So the first thing that we need to do is create two directories, and I'm going to call it Win RE Image and win re mount okay so let's get started so I'm gonna go inside my MDT and what we wanna do is wanna go to starts all programs Microsoft Windows AIK folder and you wanna click on the deployment tools command prompt okay so the first command is we wanna create that directory so I wanna copy go back in here paste Oops. paste it Hit enter awesome and we are going to do the last command is the last directory and I like typing okay now I'm gonna go inside my computer and make sure they are there excellent and one is the win re image and one I need the other folder to mount it okay so before I even do that I am going to my virtual machine settings and make sure I have my operating CD in there which I believe I do I do okay and the next thing that we need to do to create this WIM image is da -da -da -da, we need to copy the Windows PE image from the installation media using the image X okay so I am actually going to copy this entire command right here okay going back into this I am going to paste it but make sure that I'm using D, so I'm not using E. And the reason that it has E is because the last time I've used this stuff was um, a while back. And I was using the E. E was actually the CD, but uh, my virtual machine has the D. So as you can see, it's exporting all the information from the sources boot image into my win re image so if i go back into that folder as you can see and export it very good so let's go to the next command now the next command is we need to mount it so we are going to do a copy on this next command going back into that paste it hit enter and if we go back into my c drive and go into that as you can see is extracting what it needs to extract now I'm gonna keep this video real short and simple I'm not gonna do all the steps but again if you guys do need this information please shoot me a comment right below of this video and I will email you these comments or my notes okay the next thing that you want to do is you want to add the Windows RE shell script now the Windows PE will copy that we copied in step one does not launch Windows RE automatically now we need to create a script and call it the winpe shell.ini file that will launch the Windows RE shell at startup. That's basically what we want. So I'm going to do is copy these two lines right here. And I want to go back into my MDT server, open up Notepad, do a paste. And we need to call this file winpe shell ini file okay so I'm gonna to go to file save as change it to all files and let's copy that paste it actually paste that file name to that and we're gonna close it okay now the next step that we need to do because when we created the file we need to copy this file to the Windows system 32 directory in which the mount that we just created you know and uh, let's do that so what do I mean we need to copy this guy so I'm gonna do a control X to cut it and we want to go into C drive win re mount again you don't need to call it win re mount and image is just a preference that you know keeps track of what I'm doing and we want to go to the Windows and system 32 and we are going to paste that bad boy in there as you can see it is in there I think it's in there Hopefully it's in there. I saw it in there. Okay. So let's go to date to modify. Ah. And there it goes. Cool. 
So the next step that we need to do is da -da -da -da. now the next step is up to you step three and step four is very optional for you guys now if necessary you can include third-party drivers such as nick drivers s uh s c s i scuzzies or wireless wan whatever you need to do you can try to get the i and f file and you could um insert all that stuff inside your custom whim image but I'm not going to do that because I just want to keep it short and simple. These are the commands that you guys need to do. If you need, again, if you need you notes, please let me know. Shoot a comment right below this video and I will give you the notes that I have. Uh, any custom tools that you need, I'm not going to deal with that. And the last step that I'm going to do with you guys is we need to unmount the image by using image X command. Real simple. I'm just going to copy this right here. Go back here. Now that I'm done already doing what I need to do, I inserted the startup script file that I needed. I'm going to right click, paste, and hit enter. And it's going to amount it, compress it, and give me what I need. And that's it, guys. That is how you create a Windows RE image. Now, I skipped three, step three and four because I don't really need it. But again, I'm going to stress it to you guys. If you guys need my notes, if you need my notes, let me know. Shoot me a comment right below this video and I will give you the notes so you guys can have it and use it as a reference. So as you can see, I'm going to close this, go to Windows, C drive, mount. Okay, that's okay, good. And it's already mounted, so it's good to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, please like, please Twitter it, please Facebook it, and also don't forget to subscribe, guys. Please help me out, and I do appreciate all the hope and the support, and i catch you guys later. Peace out.